Today I'm going to share some of my secrets on how you can save a ton of money when buying Funko Pops. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to start off today's video by letting everybody know that I am not a licensed financial advisor. I am just a long time Funko collector and a collector of some other things who loves to save money because at the end of the day, if you save some money and you have more of it, you can buy more stuff and who doesn't want to buy more stuff. So that's what today's video is all about. How to save some money on Funko Pops and other collectible items so you can stretch your very precious and hard earned dollars further. So let's get into tip number one. And this is a pretty obvious one. However, it is a very important one. And that is keep an eye out for sales. And right now, actually, Funko is having an in-person sale at their warehouse in Buckeye, Arizona, which I know not everybody is able to get to because it's limited to those people who can get to it in person. But Funko is actually prone to having a lot of sales on their very own website. They've done it a few times this year, and they are not the only ones. Other retailers, who sell Funko products like Amazon frequently have sales on Funko Pops as well. Amazon specifically does a lot of sales on their items around their Prime Day as well as Black Friday events. So be on the lookout on those websites for those sales, not to mention other retailers like Hot Topic and Box Lunch frequently have sales on Funko items. And on top of that, with them specifically, they actually give you hot cash for Hot Topic or Box Lunch money for Box Lunch, which are basically cash vouchers that you can redeem at a later date. You just have to pay attention to when those dates are announced so you don't miss out on when you can use those vouchers. Now for tip number two, this may be a tad controversial. However, I do have a pretty good strategy that I've used that will not incur you any additional financial stress and that is when you are buying collectibles specifically online to use a credit card now some of you guys watching may not be old enough to have a credit card however for those of you guys who do there are credit cards out there through American Express discover card MasterCard whatever company it is that offer cash back or rewards points when you make a purchase with their specific credit card now when it comes to doing that it is very important to be mindful of what you're putting on that credit card and to make sure that you pay it off at the end of the cycle, however long that may be, for your credit card statement. Because if you are using a credit card to buy collectibles and non-essential items, I mean pretty much any items nowadays, you wanna make sure it gets paid off before the first of the month or whenever the statement comes up so you don't incur any additional interest. By doing that and paying it off in full, you will allow yourself to reap the maximum benefits of whatever credit card uh, redemption or whatever their rewards cashback program is, which will allow you to use that money towards future purchases. Now, in addition to credit cards that may offer you some sort of points or rewards, there's actually also other websites out there that will do the same. And one of my favorite cashback websites to use is Rakuten. Rakuten is 100% completely free to use and it's very simple to use. And what they've done is they've actually partnered with hundreds of different companies and retailers online to give you guys free money on purchases you are probably already going to make. And what's great about Rakuten is they've actually partnered with Funko. So how to maximize and earn rewards through Rakuten is you actually have to go go to their website, type in Funko, and you will actually see the current cashback percentage that they are currently offering for Funko. Once you click on Funko, it will take you directly to the Funko website, and then there you go. Once you make your purchase, once it's completed, then in a few weeks time, you will be gifted or granted that cashback, whatever that uh, amount is. Now what's also great about Rakuten is if you actually sign up with them right now for your free account, they are offering a $30 promo, which I have linked down in the description below. And if you sign up and get that $30 promo, once you make a qualifying purchase, we also get the $30 promotional credit as well, which is just more money that we can use to support the channel. So I highly encourage you guys to check out Rakuten. It's one of my favorite cashback websites, like I've mentioned, and Joanna and I have actually racked up over three 
$300 this year alone by using Rakuten on purchases that we were already going to make. And continuing with even more free rewards, some of you guys may not know that recently in the last few months, Funko actually rolled out their very own rewards program. And once again, it is free to join. As long as you have an account through the Funko website, you can go to the rewards homepage, sign up, and once you make purchases on Funko.com, you will start to earn points. And then when you have a certain threshold of points, you can redeem those for cash vouchers in the amount of $5, $10, $15, and $20. And then you can use them towards future Funko purchases. Now, listen to this, because this is a strategy that I've used several times throughout this year over the last few months, and it's saved us a lot of money. So recapping everything we just talked about, if you get a credit card with a decent rewards point offer, and then you go to Rakuten, you sign up, you've got the website locked and loaded, then you go to Funko.com, you put your purchases or your items that you wanna purchase in your cart, make sure you get $65 worth so you can get free shipping because why pay money for shipping when you can pay money for an extra pop soda or lounge fly bag, add that to the cart, maximize the free shipping opportunity, then on on top of that, if you have any rewards from Funko, you go get your cash voucher for that, you have that reduced to the current price that you should be paying, and then you've maximized as many opportunities as possible, and that's just with Funko.com. Now, once again, remember, after you make this purchase, you'll get your rewards back for Rakuten at a later date, you'll get even more rewards points back through Funko, but to maximize the amount of rewards that you wanna get through your credit card, you need to pay off that balance immediately immediately so you don't get hit with interest later on. Now for our next tip, it actually has direct ties to what we talk about here on the channel and me myself as a collector and as a Funko Pop YouTuber. Now I will put this out there, I will never promote or encourage you guys to use a website, an app, a platform, anything that I don't personally use or believe in. And that is why I think you guys have a great opportunity as viewers of our channel and viewers of likely several other channels channels here on YouTube, and that is take advantage of the promos and what they are vouching for. If it's somebody you trust and somebody you enjoy watching, go check out what they are promoting because sometimes what they're promoting ties directly into a credit or a promotional voucher that you can use. For instance, we are affiliates through the WhatNot app. We absolutely love the WhatNot app. We've been selling and buying on there for quite some time. And we actually have a $15 promotional credit that you guys can use on your first purchase once you download the app. Now, once you download the app and use that $15 credit to get an item for your collection, you don't have to continue using that app. If you want to, you can download every single app and go to every single website that people are telling you guys to do so because there is a credit or there's a bonus for you to take advantage of once you've taken advantage of that bonus, you can delete the app or never go on that website again because you've maximized that opportunity, you've used that credit, and no one is forcing you to go on that website or app ever again. You can just keep going from promo to promo and maximizing the opportunities because at the end of the day, it's all about getting your stuff for your collection at a discounted rate. And for my last big tip for today's video, it is do not buy pops when they are rising in value. So some of you guys who have been following the channel for quite some time may have noticed that we like to do some pops on the rise or pops on the fall or some buy now videos. And I've even done some videos where I encourage you guys to sell certain pops because they are sky rocketing so much in value that it may be more lucrative for you to sell them and then buy them again later on at a much cheaper price for your collection. Well, I'll give you two examples of two pro, uh, two pops here, uh, one of which that I think you should buy now and one of which that I think you shouldn't buy now. So the pop that I actually think you guys should buy now because it's actually been decreasing in value over the last few months is arguably one of the hottest pops of the year. And this, of course, is the Timmy, Cosmo, and Wanda the three pack of the Fairly Odd Parents. Now this was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. This is the shared sticker version and this one has actually come down and is trending for around $75 to $80. It was going for hundreds of dollars when it came out over the summer so if you have been patiently waiting to try to get this one for your collection, 
I'd say now is actually a pretty good time to do so because I don't see this one dipping too uh, too much further in price. So I think now would be a great time to buy this one. Now on the flip side, a pop that I think you guys should not purchase right now because it is absolutely skyrocketing value. And I'm not sure why because the big movie of this character came out in the beginning of the summer. So it's kind of interesting to see that this one is going up so much in value right now. And that one of course is the foot Locker exclusive disappearing Miles Morales from the first wave of Into the Spider-Verse pops. Now this is a beautiful pop, very interesting Miles Morales variant. It features his classic black and red uniform, which is awesome. But this guy is currently trending for $175 and I've seen it even selling for over 200 as of recently. So this is one that I highly encourage you guys to not purchase right now. I would wait several months time to see if this one maybe comes back down in value or at least stabilizes because at the end of the day Funko Pops are kind of like stocks you want to buy low and sell high that way you don't end up shelling out a ton of money unnecessarily for something for your collection but guys let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more content like this in the future I have a couple more videos surrounding topics regarding your money and maximizing your budget that I plan on releasing in January so if you don't want to miss those videos make Make sure to smash that subscribe button. We will be live tonight over on Professor Josh's channel for Pop Force One. So come hang out with us tonight live right here on YouTube at 9 p.m. Eastern. Once again, over on Professor Josh's channel. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, don't stop shooting until you score. <laughs>